Jill Scott and Barry Watson are here to talk to us about Lifetime's reboot of Highway to Heaven. I was definitely a fan of the original show, as happens a lot with the reboots and the reimaginings. Um, But this had the same spirit, even though it's very much its own thing. Uh... I don't have a toothbrush. Because... I don't need one. Because... Bruce, I'm an angel. But I'm curious, when this first came to you guys, did you immediately like try and find Highway to Heaven episodes or did you stay away from that? Jill, do you want to start first? Like how much did you go back to the source just to kind of see what they did, you know, 30, 40 years ago? Oh, oh yeah, I had to, I had to. Um, it had been a long time since I saw Highway to Heaven, but when I saw the script, I remembered immediately how I felt. I used to love that show. I watched that with my <laughs> grandma. Yeah. So when I saw the script, I just, I kind of jumped first and read yeah. later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Barry, how about with you? Um, no, I mean, you know, kind of like Jill. I mean, I, I grew up with Michael Landon, you know, from like Little House in the Prairie and also, you know, Highway to Heaven. So I was such a big fan. And then, so when the script came my way, I was, of course, you know, like Jill, just I'm, I'm, I'm on board, you know? Yeah, that was, that was one of my questions actually is why, why is now the right time for this? I have my opinion, but what's, why do you think we need this show and the message of the, of the film right now? Jill, what do you think? Cause it's, it's been dark. We have had more dark times in, I mean, in, in my lifetime anyway. And I think yeah, it, we've wow, we've we've definitely had a lot to struggle with. We need more yeah. love, you know, the uh, love and like what Jill's saying, you know, and that's why I said it when I was flipping through channels and saw that 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 love and kindness that Michael Landon brought to that show, and to give people just hope, you know, and we really need that right now. Jill, when when you were getting ready to start playing Angela. Did you put a lot of thought in how you play an angel or did you just kind of go with your gut or because you could play it really a little too angelic and a little too pure and all of that. But where you where you hit it is perfect. But how did you find the right place to play Angela? Oh, Jim, that is good news that you <laughs> like <laughs> that yes, is yes. good news. I um, had the privilege to be in quarantine for two weeks. Right. So I, we were um, both in, in quarantine in, uh, on a mountain, which was really great, but I was really alone for two weeks, which gave me this awesome opportunity to investigate what I thought an angel was like. I, yeah, I, I definitely had to consider um, that I, I wanted her to be relatable and reachable. I wanted her to be warm and the biggest um, the uh, thing I will say, emotion that I wanted her to invoke was kindness and presence, being being present for everything and everyone, because that that's the job to to yeah. mostly listen and be considerate of others. And I, I I think she does that. I love that about her. Yeah. And Barry, we found out early on, I believe, that Bruce has been in this job for 20 plus years. And my first question was just, why? Why why do you stay in any job for 20 plus years? Can you talk about that as far as Bruce and where he's at in his life when we meet him? Well, you know, um, I I think Bruce truly loves what he he does. And actually, I think Bruce is somebody who wants to actually make a difference in, you know, young people's lives. Somebody that everybody liked, but also maybe there's something else that he's hiding, you know, because he always tries to kind of, I think, use humor to maybe sidetrack maybe what is going on in his own life or what he's feeling. And so I think maybe he's just been stuck in that because that's what's kind of, what's gotten him through his own grief with his love of his life. Joe, there's there's a couple moments in the film where we do see Angela has I'll call them powers, but I don't know if that's the right term, but you see her like, you know, in the beginning a flower blooms because she kind of looks in its direction and there's some other things that happen in the movie. 
what were some of the talking points with, I mean, you're one of the executive producers, but with the writers and how you play that? Because again, that's something that could be very bewitchy or something like that, but it's, it's done very subtly, but can you talk about that a little bit? It's more of an energy um, that <laughs> hopefully that comes through that it's, it's a slight, very slight thing. It's to me, it's the way that the creator works that um, um, the, the changes that happen in, in your life typically are really big or really tiny. And I thought that her uh, her gifts would be best served if, if they were gentle. Do us a favor and click subscribe under this video and make sure to watch Highway to Heaven November 6th on Lifetime. <laughs> <laughs>